Right, so here's how we took a site from zero to over 10K a month solely with AI. All the screenshots you see here, all this growth, this one, this one, this one, was all achieved through producing content with this AI software that produced content just like the one you're seeing here, right? All this, even the images are done with AI. You have an interactive table of contents here. You have proper content structuring with internal links, external links, in article images, more images down here, a video that's tailored to what the content is about, uh, an FAQ section right here, and here a call to action to these guys' uh, Shopify store to buy their uh, fertilizers because this is a Shopify store in the gardening niche. And of course, these articles are tailored both to the brand and both to the niche. And I can skim through these ones and publish them to my Shopify store or to my WordPress site, whatever I want. Or I can just click here and publish them all at the same time to my integration. By the way, an integration can be anything you want. Like I said, it could be a WordPress site, Shopify store, Ghost Wix uh, site, Blogger, or even even connected with Zapier or an external API. Meaning what's happening here is that you're connecting this AI with your site, right? Let's call this your website. And Journalist AI is generating content plus it's publishing content for you. Now you can publish it manually or automatically. I'll go over that in just a second here. But the content that's publishing all these individual blog posts you see here, right? These are individual blog posts. If we expand on one of these ones, the content is just as you saw, right? With a featured image, an interactive table of contents, proper content structuring, right? In article images that are relevant to what the content is about, in article videos that are relevant also to what the content is about, internal links, so links linking out to other blog posts you've written. So these might interlink uh, between each other only in a way that makes sense. None of this is random. Um, also, they might link to your homepage, your contacts page, right? Also external links, so linking out to authoritative sources in your niche. For example, if this is an article about finance, link out to Investopedia, Wikipedia, TechCrunch, all those. Uh, then we have bullets, tables, quotes, all these are included in the article. And down here, of course, a call to action section to your product or service, right? Now, again, you can do this manually or you can just go here to uh, auto blogs, right? And you can set up an auto blog, which I won't do right now, but essentially you can set it up so it produces content, right? Uh, 300 articles every single uh, month, week, they are every 12 or six hours. So again, every usually people just do five every single uh, week. So every single week, five articles will be, po will be posted one Monday, uh, one Tuesday, Wednesday, and so on and so forth to your blog on autopilot, 100% automated without you having to do a single thing. Now, if you want to go a step further, you can also set up an indexer so it indexes the content. And even one step further, you can set up the keyword monitors right here. So essentially, we'll give you the keywords that you should be producing content for. I'll show you an example here real quick. Um, let's say, for example, these are keywords for this gardening site. There's a site, that's the country, that's the language. It takes all this info in plus the competition and gives you a bunch of keywords you should be producing content for, right? And then just select it here, select the keywords you want, enable it, and it will produce content based on these keywords on autopilot. So again, journalist AI, if you connect it with your site, it does the keyword research for you, it does the generation of the content, does the publishing, and there's the indexing for you on autopilot. There's a bunch more things you can do also. You can even connect your brands, right? It's pretty powerful, but let me go over this little case study right here because I think it's important that I show you exactly what I'm speaking about uh, before I show you how the actual software works. So essentially, this is in the um, nightlife niche. So essentially, this guy um, was sending leads to these uh, clubs throughout the city that would pay him per lead that he got onto the party that was happening or I guess an event that was happening in a certain week from there, right? And he started using AI content with Journalist AI around October here, and the growth, I mean, is clear, right? Here, this is the organic traffic growth, right? From here to here, right? Only with AI content, right? And this is the number of keywords that are ranking organically from here to here. I mean, it's, it's insane, right? Almost 6,000, not all of them are buyer intent keywords, but most of them are. Uh, an increase from less than 1,000 to almost 3,000 uh, monthly traffic, targeted traffic, of course, and again, all these started in October. I can expand a bit more on this, but I think the, the most interesting part here, the, yes, this is very interesting, but it's to show you that how the software works. I think that's the really cool part here. So if I go here to generate articles, I have these three simple modes, right? I can generate content based on a URL and a description, select how many articles I want, select the language can I, as I can produce content in over 150 different languages. So Portuguese, Spanish, Turkish, I mean, whatever you want. If you're targeting international markets, this works great. I can leverage the titles mode, you essentially give it a couple of titles and produce content based on those titles. Same thing for keywords, or I can go with the advanced mode, which is where Journalist AI really shines, which we give you all these steps, right? Which is where you can set up the uh, videos in the articles, just click a button and you can set up automatic videos. So again, we'll write the article for you. Then we'll go on YouTube and find what's the best video, right? We can add to your article that best describes not just the article itself, but the section in which we're gonna include the video in. 
right? Same thing with images. You can select images where they could be stock photos, uh, Google photos, custom images, or AI images. If you do select AI images, you can also enable these custom prompts to make really make the images shine. You can enable and disable the featured image or enable and disable in article images. Um, you can set up the external linking. So just with a click of a button, all your articles, right? This is an article will have links throughout it to authoritative sources in your niche, right? So when you mention something, right, we'll make sure to link out to that something, right? Whatever it is in a way that makes sense. Internal linking, just set up, put it in, in here, your sitemap. And again, throughout the article, we'll link out to your other pages on your site. Um, structure here, you can set up your call to action, right? Key takeaway section, conclusion FAQs. You can automate your headings or you can just write them manually if you'd like. You can select the article length, right? You can also here in the content change the... Um, Creativity levels right here, which is pretty cool, depending on how you want your brand to come across. You can change the tone of voice, point of view, right? You can change all this. You can even add custom instructions. You can even connect your brand so the content is even more tailored to your brand, your your brand's mannerisms, your brand's images. And you do this by clicking here. I won't have to repeat that right now. And finally, the base one, which is the generation mode. You can do it here. So pretty powerful. That's what this software does. And that's exactly the software this guy used to achieve this, right? Uh, he did the Q research, then he produced content in mass to uh, be able to achieve this result in this niche. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty powerful. I'll, I'll leave a link for this in the description. I'll also leave a link in the pinned comment so you can try it out. You can try it out for free. Uh, it's tryjournalist.com. Just log in, go to your dashboard and you can try it out. Three articles free, which is, is pretty cool. Yeah, let me know what you think and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.